good morning students today we are going to learn two different topics first one is netic words so netic words is a combination of two words net work and etic word so etic word is nothing but ethics ethics to be followed while using network that is internet when you are using online services you have to follow the rules for acceptable online behavior so those guidelines were given under the topic netic words in simple term you can call it as do's and don'ts while using online services so this is what we are going to learn today and see the do's begin messages with salutation yes always end your message with your name and keep your email short use proper grammar and spelling and don't forget to acknowledge and written and written messages promptly and one important thing while you are using social networking you are sharing information publicly so think before posting anything while using online services that is the social networking websites and respect others privacy don't interfere with their content or their <coughs> information use common acronyms so next we will also learn some acronyms and emoticons so always use that common acronyms don't follow your own way while sending messages to others so please follow the rules and very important to be aware on all these points don't don't gossip and keep personal information personal that is don't share it with others don't open emails re received from people you don't know or if it is not a trustworthy then please don't open that email because through spam through emails viruses may spread in your system so be very careful don't use abusive words don't be sarcastic don't type in capital letter so in internet it is meaning that shouting you are shouting so don't type in capital letters and similarly while using facebook twitter what are all the websites social networking websites you are using don't tag your friends in inappropriate photos okay next so this this is what called as common acronym so this common acronym you can use but uh, my advice to you is you can use all these short term so acronym is nothing but short term that is instead of writing by the way you are simply going to use b t w instead of typing take care you are going to use t c instead of typing thanks p h s so these are all some common acronym followed all over the world but any any way you may use these acronyms while chatting with your close friends that's enough don't use these acronyms when you chat or when you uh, type some formal messages to some respectful respectful person in the society that is to your elders when you communicate with your elders using online mode don't use these acronyms and next is emojis you know use you should use emojis also in correct manner okay don't overuse emojis so emojis are nothing but emotion representing your emotion in terms of pictorial information that's all using picture you are going to represent your emotions that's why it is called as emojis but you can use it but don't overuse it and also use the emojis in meaningful way okay so with this netic words is over and the second important topic is cyber threat even though internet is a biggest boom to all 
it is having many features it is offering us many services we all are enjoying all the services from internet but still the biggest disadvantage is the threats it is causing so cyber threat is a malicious act that seeks to damage data steal data or disrupt the digital life you are leading on all online so some threats are malware malware or computer program created with an intention to harm the computer so what is malware malware is a program which is created with an intention to harm your computer so you should be very careful while using online services second one is cyber bullying so cyber bullying i already told you while teaching social networking so the the person who is causing cyber bullying is called as stalkers so they may threaten you by having your own personal information and uh, inform the very sensitive information of about your family so they may again steal it from your own social networking website only so by using that they may threaten you and in that situation you have to report your yeah, report the elders so but these are all some common threats so you should be cautious on all these aspects hacker so hacker is a person who illegally gains access to someone else computer or network and they'll steal and they'll do harm for the data present in that system or network and nowadays the biggest threat cyber threat is additive most of the children youngsters and even adults are addicted to play online games and they are spending too much of time in online browsing and using online services so it is leading to unhealthy life so obesity is a biggest problem all the children are facing now yes so these are all the various threats given under cyber threat topic and how you can be aware on yourself and what are the steps you have to do, do to keep yourself away from all these threats the precautions are don't share information online don't meet anyone online without your parents guidance and don't share your password don't respond to uncomfortable messages and report the cyber bullying to an elder so keep it in mind all these points and make yourself safe in safe while using internet bye children